Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Stitch and Stacy. Today I wanted to do a stitch with you. This was, and you're looking at Candy, of course. She had to be the highlight of the video. Um, we're going to do the uh, basic solid shell stitch. And this was a request from a Facebook friend. Sorry about that, I'm trying to adjust here. Uh, okay, so I did this in a, like a, a light purple. And as you can see right here, shells that have been made using double crochets. So in this stitch, you're going to make your base chain, which is down at the bottom. You can use any size hook you want. I'm using a 5 millimeter. Um, this is using a 4-ply yarn. And uh, so let's just get started on our uh, our shell stitch. And sometimes these are actually called uh, fan stitches uh, based on if they get bigger. A lot of times they're also called um, the cross-reference name of a fan stitch. Okay, so if I can work around candy here, we'll actually make some headway. So what I want you to do is make your slip knot. And you're going to be working in multiples of six. And then however many that you choose to end up with, you have to add one to the base of your chain. Okay, so that is for when you, um, you, you skip the first chain, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. That's to make up for that chain that you, you skipped. So what I'm going to do, and we're going to make it a little lengthy like I did my purple one here because you gotta have enough to work with and demonstrate with okay so what I want you to do is mu multiples of six so one two three four five and six okay there's your first set let's do another one one two three four five and six so there's two one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to do one more. That's going to give us four sets to work with. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now just add one to whatever desired length you have. You always want to add one. All right, so what we're going to do next is you're going to go second hoop from the start and chain so you're in this one you're going to go right here to the second stitch and do a single crochet so for those of you uh, not familiar with a single crochet you go in your hoop okay make sure you have two hoops on that hook grab your yarn pull through you should have two on your hook wrap your yarn and pull through that's your first single crochet then what I want you to do next is you're going to skip two chains. So one and two, we're going to skip these two, yeah, those two chains, and then you're going to go in that next chain for five double crochet. Let me see if I'm getting a little bit better for you. So a refresher on double crochet. You're going to wrap your hook, insert it into that chain. Make sure you have two hoops on your hook. Grab your yarn pull through. Now you'll have three hoops on your hook. Wrap, pull through two only. Wrap, pull through two. And then you should end up with one hoop on that hook. Now you're going to do that a total of five times in this same space. Okay, so you're going to do five double crochet all in the same space. And that's going to create your first shell stitch. Okay, so that's four. We're going to do one more. Okay. Now, there's your shell stitch. Very, very simple to do. And now next what you're going to do is you're going to skip the next two chains, which don't forget this one right here. This is hid behind your uh, last stitch. They kind of get squished in behind each other, but don't forget that. That's one and two. You go into that third stitch for a single crochet. Okay, now that finishes your very first shell stitch. Okay, 
and as you can tell it does look like a fan um, and like I said they they are also known as a fan stitch so what you do at this point is you skip another two so you did your single you're gonna skip one two you're gonna go into that third you're gonna repeat this all the way across so this is the space you're gonna do five double crochets so one two three four and five all right now you want to skip two which is this one right here and that one and you want to go into the third one for a single crochet basically you're just kind of tying it off right there to form that stitch and hold it in place so that's your second shell all right skip two one two go into that third one you're going to do your third shell so you're going to do five doubles in this same space so that's two three four and five all right so you're going to skip two one two lock it in there with a single crochet in that third one okay now you're going to skip two one two your next one there will be another set of five double crochet for your fourth um, shell stitch like I say this is pretty much your pattern it's going to be the same all the way through it's going to change just a little bit on the ends when we uh, get there and go up to our next row okay so that's four okay there's five and you want to skip okay so depending on how many you did I'm just going to on this end one I'm just gonna leave that there so we don't actually I'm gonna do a single crochet in that end one like I say it depends on how many you have and what what project you're doing as to what you end up with okay so let's back you up here so you've got your four shells all right now the next step we're gonna move up let me unroll my yarn a bit here so your second row see if I can get my fingers working today I'm a little rusty it is Sunday chain three one two three you're gonna turn your work now that chain three will count as your first double crochet in um, in this next row so in the first single crochet you want to do two more double crochets so right here in that stitch that you're in right here you're gonna do another two double crochet and what that's gonna do on each end on your beginning and your ending it's going to uh, basically form half of that um, that shell stitch. So on the ends, you're not going to have a full. Uh, uh, I keep wanting to say fan stitch. You're not going to have a full shell stitch on each end. It's only going to be a half a stitch. So then from here, you want to skip two double crochet, one, two, and then you want a single crochet in that next one, just like we did when we started. Then you want to skip two, one, two. And then in that next space right here, you see I skipped one and two right here. I'm going to go in for the uh, start of your five double crochet. Okay, so there's this is two. Three. It's four. five so we're going to skip two stitches one two I'm going to go into that third one for a single crochet then you're going to count three one two three for a double crochet 
So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you're going to skip two, one, two, do that single crochet in that next stitch. Skip two, one, two, start your five doubles over. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. You're going to skip two, one, two, that next stitch for a single crochet. Skip two, one, two, and in that end, you're only going to do like we did at the other end. You're only going to put three double crochet. There is an end stitch there, so pull it out like I've showed you to do before on the previous video of the uh, triangle catastrophe. And you want to pull it out and you'll find that third stitch. So what you're going to do there is you're going to do three double crochet only, not five. Okay? So again, this is your second row. And you see what they're doing. Your shells here are straggling each other. You've got this one and then you have these two are going to work opposite. And that's what you want. You keep an eye on that all through your pattern. That way you will know if you're you're doing it properly. So then when you move up to this next row, this is the last row, it's your third row, you're going to chain one. You're going to turn your work and you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch, which is right here. So you're going to do that in the same stitch, that's one single crochet. Then you're going to go ahead and go skip two, one, two. Then you're going to start with your double five double crochets in the same stitch. So there's one. two, three, four, and five. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to skip one, two, go into that third, and do a single crochet, and then you're just going to keep going all the way across. Skip two, then do your five doubles, so skip two, do a single, Skip two, do your five doubles, just like I've done all the way across. And then alternating rows, if you if you look right here at the, the beginning, remember when I told you to only do your three on the ends? You see how, how, how um, beautiful the end curves around and almost makes a complete circle at the ends, which this one hasn't done yet. I'm not all the way across. Um, so anyway, um, make sure that you do the two. Um, or the three doubles, or the five doubles, I'm sorry, I had a mind freeze there. And then you skip the two, and then you do your single crochet. And all you got to do is rewind this video if you kind of get lost. But this is very simple. So that's all you do, you just keep repeating. And then when you get to the end of this row, you're going to chain three and go back across. You get to this row, you're going to chain one and go back across. Okay, so it's chain three and chain one. You're going to alternate those rows. So, um, so that's it for the uh, basic shell stitch. I do have a picture of a really pretty white toddler sundress on my uh, my Facebook website at uh, Stitch and Stacy's Crochet. If you want to look at that, the whole dress at the bottom from the um, waist down is made of nothing but shell stitching. Uh, it's a really good example. So check that out at Stitch and Stacy's Crochet at Facebook, or you can go to my personal webpage at www.astitchintime, and then the number two dot webs dot com, and I will put the link down at the bottom, and you can visit me at both sites. So don't forget to click the like button, and I appreciate all the support. And until my next video, happy hooking, everybody.